Let's look at this problem here. If a discount of 20% off the retail price of a desk saves Mark $45, how much did he pay for the desk? Now the first thing you want to do with this problem is convert the word problem to an equation. So let's look at what the problem tells us. It tells us that the discount percentage is 20% and the discount amount was $45. It also mentions the retail price and the sale price or the price that was paid for the desk. Now we can't find the sale price directly but we can find it after finding the retail price. So let's write an equation for the retail price. We're told that 20% off the retail price is the same as $45. So let's write that as the equation 45 equals 20% times retail price. <clears throat> now to solve this equation we want to convert the percentage to a fraction. So let's do that. 20% equals 20 over 100 which is the same as 1 over 5. So let's substitute that back into this equation. 45 equals 1 fifth times retail price. Now to solve this we can multiply both sides by 5. These 5's cancel giving us the retail price equal to 5 times 45 or 225. Now the sale price is $45 off the retail price. So to find the sale price all we have to do is subtract 45 from this. So the sale price is 225 minus 45 or $180. Here's an example of one of the types of problems you may encounter on your exam. A lawnmower is on sale for $1,600, which is 20% off the regular price. How much is the regular price? Now the first thing you want to do with a word problem like this is convert the words to an equation. Now you want to be very careful when you're writing out your equation, because if you translate the word problem incorrectly, it doesn't matter how good you are at solving the equation, you're going to get the wrong answer. For instance, if you started out by writing this problem as 1600 plus 20% times 1600 equals the regular price, you're going to wind up with the wrong number. The reason for this is that you're taking the 20% of the sale price instead of 20% of the regular price like the question states. So what you want to write instead is 1600 equals the regular price minus 20% of the regular price. Or since it's regular price minus 20%, you can just write this as 1600 equals 80% of the regular price. Now 80% we can rewrite as a fraction. 80% equals 80 over 100, which is the same as 4 over 5. And then we'll plug this back into this equation. 1600 equals 4 over 5 times the regular price. And now to solve this, all we have to do is multiply both sides by 5 over 4. And then these two cancel. And what we're left with is the regular price is 5 over 4 times 1600. Now, multiplying this out, what we get is that the regular price is 2000 So the regular price of the lawnmower is $2,000. Let's take a look at this problem here. If 45 is 120% of a number, what is 80% of the same number? Now what we have here is a two-step percentage multiplication problem. First we have to work backwards with 1%, and then we get to work forwards with the other percent. This problem gives us two equations that we can solve to find the number we're looking for. Let's write the first one. First we have 45 equals 120 percent times a number. We'll call that number x. 
Now to solve this, we want to convert the 120% to a fraction. So let's do that. 120% is 120 over 100, which is the same as 6 over 5. Now let's substitute that into this equation. And what we get is 45 equals 6 over 5 times x. Now we can multiply both sides by 5 over 6, and that will cancel this to give us x equals 5 over 6 times 45. Now this is actually as far as we need to go with this equation, because now we're going to plug the x into the next equation. The second part asks us what is 80% of the same number, or 80% of x. So this equation can be written where y is the number we're looking for. y equals 80% times x. Now let's convert 80% to a fraction also. 80% equals 80 over 100, which is the same as 4 over 5. And now we can substitute that back into here. y equals 4 fifths times x, or if we substitute this value in for x, we can get y equals 4 fifths times 5 sixths times 45. Now we can cancel out these 5's, and the 4 over 6 is the same as 2 over 3, so we can rewrite this as y equals 2 thirds times 45, which is the same as y equals 30.